Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine PA. And in the video where I talked about how much money I made in one month, a lot of you guys were asking about my personal investment strategy. What sort of stocks am I picking? What do I think about cryptocurrency? And what are some side hustles that you could get out there and start doing now? to earn a bit of extra money on the side. So this video will cover just that. Before I get started, if you guys could please just take a quick millisecond and hit that like button down below. It really helps the channel out so much. It really helps us get seen by more people on YouTube. Also, super quick shout out to my VIP patrons on Patreon for directly supporting this channel and making this video possible. I remember I first got started in investing by opening what is known as a Roth IRA while I was working part-time after completing my undergraduate degree. Roth IRA is essentially taking taxed money and putting it into a personal, individualized retirement account. And while there are many different brokers that you can start with, I remember using Vanguard. I love Vanguard and their headquarters is just a few miles away from where I am currently. I think Vanguard is a very good company to get started with. The Roth IRA that I chose was VTTSX, which is a term date retirement portfolio. What they do is they take a bunch of stocks they make a fund, and as you age, as you get near to retirement age, the aggressiveness of the fund starts to go down and it starts shifting from highly aggressive stocks more towards things like bonds, and they do this automatically. So that's why I would recommend starting something like a Roth IRA, especially if you're not making six figures or more. If you're making six figures or more, you're very established, you could very easily go with your employer 401k or 403b by taking pre-tax money and having that money grow over time with an employer match, that's kind of usually the best course of action. When I first started my Roth IRA, I started it with $1,000, and I remember that I would ask my family members and friends if they were giving me gifts for my birthday or Christmas, if they can make a small monetary contribution, it would go directly to my Roth IRA, and they would be funding my retirement. Look into a company like Vanguard or Fidelity or Schwab or any of these investment banks. Open up an account. It's pretty simple to do. You just have to enter in your personal information, give them banking details, and start investing. Alternatively, you can also look into a broad market retirement fund, mutual fund, ETF, in such as VIG, VOO, VTI, the whole idea is you want to plant your money into something that is diversified, low in fees, something that you could kind of always just keep an eye on and keep track of. Stock picks. What type of stocks do I recommend you guys pick? And what are some of my best performers in my own stock portfolio? Let me just tell you guys my whole strategy with picking stocks. I am not a day trader. If I buy a stock, my intention is that I'm going to hold on to it for several years. Very rarely, I will cash out and recoup my initial investment. I let any dividends reinvest into the stock market. For me, I pick stocks and I use what I call fun money. Every month I'll put $100 to $200 in there. My strategy for picking stocks involves taking stocks and companies that I understand that I could review their earnings and that I see and use every day. And I choose stocks that I know will be around for a long time. For instance, something like Coca-Cola or Disney will be here on planet Earth way after I pass away. To me, that is at least a long-term stock. I made a ton of money with Pfizer, Ford, Delta Airlines, Apple, GE, and Tesla. I remember being a Tesla fanboy ever since it sort of started up. And my brother and I even convinced our dad to get a Model 3 and he loves it. So I think Tesla is something that I could kind of get behind. If you guys want an easy way to get started in the stock market and start picking stocks or even ETFs, you can go download Robinhood. All you have to do is sign up with an email address, provide some personal information, give them your banking details so that they could pull money from your bank account. And that's it. You're all set. You could start trading. You could start buying and selling stocks. You could even start buying and selling cryptocurrency on Robinhood's app. If you guys sign up with my my link through Robinhood, we will both earn a free stock. So check out that link and sign up. Cryptocurrency, what are my thoughts on owning crypto? I will tell you guys right now, I've made money with cryptocurrency, more specifically Dogecoin. However, Dogecoin is a meme coin. Do I necessarily recommend it? Not really. I think that cryptocurrency is still in a lot of uncharted territory. It's still widely unregulated. It is still the wild west of investing your money. There are numerous pump and dump schemes or people who start up their own cryptocurrency or coin and then wind up running away with most of the investors money. So you have to do your due diligence and be very careful with crypto. My personal recommendation is that your portfolio should be no more than one or 2% of its value in crypto, but that is just my conservative 
thoughts on cryptocurrency. So for instance, if you have a total of $100,000 in investments, I don't think that cryptocurrency should be any more than $1,000 or $2,000. Looking at more of the stable coins, if you are going to invest in cryptocurrency, so things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, all of those are good places to get started. And if you guys want a platform where you can buy and sell and trade cryptocurrency, personally, I like to use Coinbase. Coinbase also has a platform where you can learn about different cryptocurrencies and earn free cryptocurrency just by learning about them. It is a cool platform. And once again, if you guys want to sign up using my code, we will both get free stocks if you trade on Coinbase. So check it out. Side hustles or passive income, what do I do for side hustles? What do I recommend you guys look into or do? The cool thing about having a side hustle or a second job or business is that you earn supplemental money on top of your day job. I make very good money already, but it's nice to have that little extra income and it's nice to use some of your free time towards an endeavor that you really enjoy. Ali Abdullah, if I'm saying his name properly, did a very great video on side hustles. It was a very long one and he spoke about how easy or difficult it was to get started and how much money you can make with each of these side hustles. My side hustles started with website building and running websites. I started a website back in 2011, which has earned me a lot of money. I looked at the internet and I found a niche where I said, I don't like the sort of content out there on this subject and I want to do a better job. Websites are essentially digital real estate. You have a specific address on the internet where people can go, they see ads, you could sell them products, you share information and write stories. And as these people come visit your website, you are earning money. And websites, you can buy and sell websites just like you can buy and sell real estate. There are websites that sell for six or seven figures or more. Although the market for websites is definitely a lot smaller than the market is for real estate. I personally also think that real estate is a great way to get involved and get a side hustle going. Side hustles don't have to be super complex. My brother signed up for Uber Eats and delivered food around Washington DC for a few days and he would tell me that some days he'd be making 300, 400, 500 dollars just by having his app open and doing a few deliveries and reaping some of these bonuses that Uber Eats will pay the drivers to encourage people to get out there and start delivering. You could also just look into something like Fiverr. On Fiverr, there are a bunch of gigs or some sort of freelancing. Just find anything that you like to do or you're very good at doing and monetize it. I just wanna mention though that if you are, for instance, a PA and you have a very high hourly rate, sometimes it's probably just better to go pick up an extra shift or two at your job or go work somewhere per diem because I think that sort of thing will earn you more money in the long run. A lot of things that people consider passive income require a lot of time or monetary investment to get rolling. So there's no free lunch in any of this, but if you want to get involved in a side hustle, those are some ideas to get you guys started. I would say you should set a goal of $100 a month because who doesn't want an extra $1,200 a year? And then you should try to shoot for $1,000 a month. That would be a great goal to get for your side hustle. What are your thoughts on side hustles and your investment strategy? I would love to hear it in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. Also check me out on Instagram where I'm sharing stories on the life of a physician assistant. And guys, as always, Stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.